this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create light rays that are coming through the trees in your photos. Uh, I did a, a photo like this a while back and a, a kind of similar effect like this a while back and it involved drawing a lot of dots on the screen, some varied dots and blurring them out. Uh, but I'm going to show you a, a different way of doing it and this one's a little bit easier, probably a little bit uh, simpler to understand. So for this photo what we really need is a photo that's similar to this. We need uh, the sun coming through the trees here. It definitely works with a, a photo that's just like this one shooting right into the sun and there's a little bit of hazy back there. Uh, but you can definitely work with photos that are just shot right into the sun. You got a little bit of trees here. So that's kind of the effect that we're going for. So what we need to do is go to our channels section right next to the layers. You're going to see a channels section. You're going to click on channels and you're going to see that we have the red, green, and blue section. We also have the RGB, which is a full color photo, but we have the red, greens, and, greens, and blue section. And what we're going to look for here is specifically the one that has the most contrast. So the one that has the, the, the darkest blacks and the whitest whites. Just by looking at the small little preview of these little uh, red, green, and blue sections here, we can tell that the blue has the most contrast because you can see a lot of black here and a lot of white here. So what we're going to do to select the contrast in this photo is actually hold the command or control key on your keyboard and click. And you're going to see that we have a little bit of marching ants in here. If I zoom in, you can see we have marching ants that selected the contrast in the photo. So now what we need to do is click the command or control C key to copy. Now we can go back to our layers panel, create a brand new layer here, and click command or control V to paste. And now if you see if we kind of uh, deactivate the background layer, we have a faint outline of where the, the, the bright parts in, where the trees were. So this is exactly what we're looking for. I'm going to activate the background layer again. And here's where we're going to apply our effect. So I'm going to go up to Filter, Blur, and I'm going to choose Radial Blur. And we have two options here. We have Spin and we have Zoom for the Blur method. What we need to do is actually use Zoom. And we're going to take our little crosshair here. This crosshair is where the effect's going to start kind of start out with. And what you want to kind of do, even though this is a square box and this is a rectangle photo, you want to try to get it roughly where the sun point is. So I'm going to move it around to roughly around there. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect because we can change it a little bit later, but uh, that is what you're looking for here. So try to match it up with that, uh, that sun that's already in the photo. I'm going to set my amount to 100. So if it's at one, it's not really going to do much, but if you do 100, that's going to be the perfect amount to get those sun rays there. And now we're going to click OK. So you see we immediately get this effect in our photo and it actually looks pretty cool. I, I was pretty spot on almost where the effect was. And so what we can do is actually apply another effect. We can, uh, we can keep it the same way it is. It looks actually pretty good. Or we can intensify it by just creating a duplicate layer. And you can see it intensifies that, those rays there. It's a little bit too much for me, so I'm going to back the opacity down. And I'm going to go down to around, uh, let's go 35. All right, and now what we need to do is kind of warm them up a little bit. Because these rays were supposed to be coming from the sun, we're going to warm them up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is highlight both of these ray layers, and I'm going to click Command and Control G to put them in their own group. And then I'm going to go down here to our adjustment layers and choose Photo Filter. And I'm going to clip this photo filter to this layer, meaning I'm only going to have this photo filter affect the, the rays that are in the, uh, in the image. So what I'm going to do is hold the Alter Option key on your keyboard, and click between those and now it's going to clip the effect. So now what we're going to do is just take the warming filter up and you can see it warms up the rays. So now it looks like the rays are, are kind of coming from the sun there and it's not affecting anything other than the photo except the rays. So this is kind of our effect here. This is kind of how we, we worked on the effect and we got the rays coming through the sun. If you wanted to blur them out a little bit more, you can obviously do a blurring effect here to make them less, less intense, but for the most part, this actually looks pretty okay. It looks pretty fun. So this is where we started. And then this is our effect. All right, guys, thank you for joining me in this quick video of showing you how to create sun rays in Photoshop. Make sure you go over to sleeklens.com for more Photoshop tutorials, more Lightroom tutorials, presets, actions, courses, all that fun stuff there. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens, and I'll see you in the next video.